it's Yoshida here and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me routine I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my makeup how I wash off my makeup and how I just like moisturize my face and everything and this is like it's not gonna be no like full face of makeup it's like pretty like junior high friendly it's just like a little bit that I think will really make you guys like if you're like looking for a, a simple makeup routine, I think this is what you're looking for. Like I do this every day and it does wonders. Like people can barely even tell I wear makeup. Like people at school be like asking me like, I know you wear makeup. Like I know your face is, your skin is not that clear. I'm like, girly, I'm only wearing mascara. Thank you. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, let's get started. Oh wait, before we get started, make sure you guys follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel because like why, why why not like it doesn't hurt you like just hit that button now let's get into it so say I'm waking up in the morning <sighs> I head out of bed and I go straight to the bathroom to get rid of this morning breath I brush my teeth real good put it in the mouthwash and then once I know that I get into my face routine. Oh, I also have a water pick too. I highly recommend it if you have braces or if you don't, like. <laughs> but anyways, so the very first step in my face routine is um this guy right here. I don't even know what this is called. I just, my mom gave it to me in this little pack. I just use it ever since because it's like the only thing I have to wash my face besides my hands, so. It's a cleanser brush. I've seen some that can like boot and vibrate and like, do it without you having to do much work but mine doesn't do that but it's still good it's still good don't get me wrong and then i wet it with my little sink and once it's wet i grab this good this little fellow this is mustella it's like usually used on like babies to like get rid of baby acne and once i once i was breaking out and i used this stuff in like about a week it was gone so like highly recommend this but before i started doing this with the cleanser brush and stuff i use like daily facials because they're like dry little pads but when you put them in the water they like get all soapy and you put them on your face and it's like if you can't find this or like if you want to try that you should get that because they both are good but yeah <laughs> They're both on, they both should be on amazon yeah they're both on amazon but i pour my mustella onto my brush <laughs> And then I like wet it again. Just, I, don't, I don't like I like putting water on my toothbrush before and after the toothpaste. So like I like layering the water. I don't know why. And then I like start just putting it all over my face. At first it might not get soapy. I, I like to wait until like the soap starts to show up like that. I don't know if you can see it through the camera. But yeah, and then I start going all around my face. Take this off. Ugh. Like on the nose, on the eyelids, forehead, and around down here. Yeah, and then once it's like all soapy all over, I stop. Like about when it looks like this. Oh, it's my eye. <laughs> about when it looks like this, I would stop. And then I like put more water on the brush to wipe off all the soap that was on it. And then once all the soap is gone, I go again with it to wipe off all the soap that I just applied. Tastes kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. Don't, don't get it in your mouth. And then I'll use the towel. Don't wipe the towel. I, I like dab it like that. Obviously you rinse your face with water, but I'm not in the bathroom. So like I, so you rinse your face with water and then you dry it since you have access to a sink, which I do not right now. I dab it, and most of the time I don't even use a towel, I use a napkin, because you don't want to soak all of the moisture out of your face. You want to leave some there to rest. And then once I'm done with uh, my mustela on the cleanser, I get this, and this is aloe vera. And this should be way easier to find, because it's like, come on, have y'all heard of aloe vera? Some of you might not have, but you can. this can go on a lot of stuff. It can be used for many things. You can put it on your face. You can put it on little cuts you have. I usually put it on my lips. You can put it on your eyelashes, your eyebrows, um, your neck. And some people even drink it. Yeah, I found out recently it can be drunk. 
it's good for the immune system or something. Or at least my teacher does. It's also good for a sunburn and just uh, extra layer of protection that you can use for every day. So yeah, I get a little dab of this and don't judge the way I apply it. I don't know, cause I like put it like in little dots in sections of my face. I don't know why. I just like doing that. Ugh. So I like put three dots. Well, it doesn't look like three dots, but that, yeah. <laughs> I just put a little glob of it on each part of my face that I want to. Chin, lips, cheeks, nose, forehead, and on the back of the neck. And the neck. <laughs> and I also especially use this for my eyebrows because like, I'll do that more when I start doing my makeup makeup. But like once I put aloe vera on my eyebrows and use my little brusher to brush them up, it's like instead of using fillers, the aloe vera like makes them look darker. I like it. I like it. So anyways, now we rub in the aloe vera around the face. Mm -hmm. You Oh, also, I wipe my makeup, not makeup, I wipe my face up because I heard that like if you wipe it down, you could get wrinkles. Maybe. Is that fact or cat? I don't know. But yeah. So I wipe no matter what I'm doing. If it's moisturizer, lotion, or face wash, I always wipe up. Because I don't, your girl doesn't want wrinkles, y'all. Like, who wants wrinkles? So yeah, wipe up. Ugh. And I think it's all wiped in now. And I have one more part. And this part you might want to be careful with. I use Aveeno. I'm kind of running out, kind of need some more. <laughs> but like something that I've noticed is that um, whenever I put a vino on, I put aloe vera on after, it like makes little white stuff pop up on my face. I don't know why, but it usually doesn't happen when I put a vino on top of the aloe vera, but it, for some reason it happens when I put aloe vera on top of the vino. So like I have a whole order. So yeah, and again, I put it in like little globs on my face, like, like that. And then just like the aloe vera, rub it in. I've been using Aveeno for a long while now because apparently it's like, I think it's like, because I have sensitive skin, so this is like for sensitive skin. It doesn't really make you break out for the most part. And it's soothing, it's made with soothing oats and rich emollients. Fragrance free, that's probably the main part, fragrance free. The Aveeno has to be rubbed in like extra good because unlike the aloe vera, It'll like, if you don't rub all of it in, it might start looking like pasty. So rub all of it in. Much better, much better. I'm almost done with the moisturizing part. Then, as I said, I don't put the aloe vera on my face because that's what usually makes the white stuff appear. I put it on like, only on the eyebrows. Cause I like how it makes the eyebrows look darker. At least it does to me. And I don't use eyebrow gel because sometimes it also makes like, white crusty stuff appear. So I just put aloe vera because it's never given me any problems. Trust the process. My eyebrows might look a little crazy right now. At least they do in the close-up mirror. And then I get this thingy. I really don't know how else to describe this besides just like an eyebrow brush because I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. Spoolie. Spoolie? Are you serious? It's a spoolie. Never have I ever heard that word in my life. Like, spoolie? Huh? Because my mom, whenever she gets her eyelashes done, the lady gives her this every time. And I thought it was just like an eyebrow brush. Because it's like usually attached to the little eyebrow fillers. Like like this right here. And it kind of looks the same because of the, the way it looks. But it, this one's bigger. I'm, just, I'm so confused. A spoolie? Why is it called a spoolie? Eyebrow brush. Anyways. So yeah, I used the spoolie to brush up my eyebrows. I like my eyebrows. I think my eyebrows are like pretty cute. My mom said when I was younger that she thought I shaved my eyebrows. Maybe somebody else shaved my eyebrows when I was sleeping, but I didn't shave my eyebrows. Like I wasn't really that, that you're naive. Cap. Excuse you? I did not shave my eyebrows. I think, hey, maybe I did when I was sleeping. A little sleep shave. But anyways, I want them to look like really even. And the tail of the eyebrow always has to like be snatched. Like I like put it like this and I go like, uh, snatched, uh. All right, so once I'm done with the eyebrows, this is actually, oh, I forgot. This thingy, I had one of these. I got one of these for like Christmas. Don't ask me what year, but it was, I got like a pink one and I was really sad because I accidentally stepped on it and it literally cracked. But, so I took one of hers <laughs> and this one's better because it's like green. First, I put this one in water. I start off with the big side usually, and I just start like going like, oh, that feels good. <laughs> I like go like that, 
it's really cold. Mm. I look like that, especially my jawline, because I really want a sharper jawline, because I think sharp jawlines look good. So I don't know why, but I just feel like whenever I do that, it makes me look my jawline look more. Maybe I'm imagining it, because I want a snatched jawline. But hey, what the world can't do, imagine it. Imagination. So yeah, I just go with the jade roller, both sides, all around my face, usually on my cheeks and my jaw slash chin. So I'm gonna like do it a little bit right here. It also feels good. I might also just do it because it feels good. Like especially when it, you first put it on, that first little swipe feels good because it's like really cold. All right, now it's time for the makeup. So normally, I don't put on that much makeup. This is the highlighter I used. I was kind of upset the other day because like I just randomly opened it. I guess I opened it like the wrong way. And it, like, I don't know if you see it, but the pieces kind of like came out. So I was like, hey, we ain't about to waste. So I put it back in there. It fell on the floor or anything, it fell on the counter. So I just put it back in there and hey, it still gets the job done. It just looks a little ghetto, but it still works. So I usually put this one on my nose or in the inner corners of my eyes. But if I was wearing like a white tee and black pants, I just put it on mascara usually. Maybe eyeliner from feeling bold, but yeah. But for tutorial purposes, I'm going to be showing you my inner corner highlighter, nose highlighter, and mascara, and eyeliner. And so you can see it like both ways. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. All right, so I just tried using liquid eyeliner this morning, and it went out pretty good, but I don't have that much experience with it. I'm not trying to like mess up on here, even though I probably still will, because when I use, this is the roll on. Um, it's called Bare Minerals Mineralistic Mineralist Eyeliner Onyx. So this is what I use before liquid. So I'm gonna be using this one because it's probably gonna be easier for me. When I put it on, like, does anyone really get their eyeliner first try besides maybe celebrities? I don't know if y'all seen how Ariana Grande puts on her eyeliner, but like, cat wing in one try. But besides that, it takes me forever to put on my eyeliner. I usually have to use a makeup wipe to like, fix it. So let's just see how the first try goes. I like pull up the skin a little bit and don't do too much because you, you can always like add more if you don't if you want more so don't put too much. And then try not to do. I definitely need a makeup wipe. <laughs> um so I see what I did wrong though. I put it too up. Mind you, like I said, I don't do eyeliner every morning. I do it when I have extra time and I'm just feeling a little bit more. <laughs> so yeah, because it takes me like, maybe like three tries to get my eyeliner right. Also, I use a makeup wipe to like sharpen it. It needs to be sharpened. So yeah, I'm gonna need to, I need to put a little bit more downwards. Ugh, like wipe off that part. Sometimes I even leave like that. Like you see how that is? So it's like not a wing, but it's just like, you like you can tell the difference, right? Like, mm, and like mm. it just gives this eye more definition. Okay, I'm done with the eyeliner part. Just know you can always clean up with a makeup wipe. And you probably will have to. I mean, I don't know if y'all are like professionals, but I'm certainly not. That's what Q-tips and makeup wipes are for. But now that we're done with the eyeliner part, this is what I usually go with, cause eyeliner is usually what I do if I just like have the time. Highlighter is what I use like every day. And mascara. Mascara is like not even an option to not do. So yeah, I showed you all this highlighter. This is what I always use for my nose and sometimes my for my eyes. And I also recently found Focus this little buddy here. It's Mac. It's called Just Chilling Shiny Pretty Shout Out. It's very pretty in the inner corners of my eyes. And I don't really usually use a brush when I put on my highlighter. Like I usually just use like my pinky. Like this is just a little extra. <gasps> Excuse me. Sorry, I have the hiccups. Uh, this is just a little extra Excuse me. A little extra shimmer in your, the corners of your eyes. A little pop. And next, it's Revlon Skin Lights. Prismatic highlighter. Sometimes I put this in the inner corner of my eyes, but usually I just like put it on my nose because it's like not like a really glittery, well it's glitter, but it's not like silver. It will blend in with the, my skin tone more. So yeah, I put a little dot on the nose. And then trying to make a straight line. 
straight line up the nose like that and it just makes your nose like a little, little little cute nose like make your nose pop a little bit see that uh also this usually comes off like really quick because i lick my lips a lot but i usually like, put it like, right there don't ask me why so this is like the, the last step kind of i'm gonna just call mascara and eye curling the same step because why not but first i curl my eyelashes See, I just hold that like that, get a little curl for like a few seconds. And then I'll do this eye. You might start like burning your eyes a little bit because you have to hold it open. Well, you can blink, but like, it might get a little teary. And now I move on to my mascara. It's from Too Faced. And this is like the only mascara I, I use, excuse me. I used to use this one that was like double sided. I can't remember. I don't think it was, it might have been from MAC. I just know that one side was volume, it was for volume, and the other side was for curl and length. Kind of ran out of the pigment because I used it so much. So now I use this one. I don't like making my eyelashes like clumpy. I try to make it look like you can probably tell I'm wearing mascara, but at the same time, it's just like a natural lash. Because when I want to get my braids done, the, the lady who was doing my braids, she had said, wow, your eyelashes are so long. I'm like, oh, it's mascara. It was like, oh. She might have lied to me now I think about it, but I'm gonna take it. I think that's enough. And I've been talking to some of my friends about this stuff. They had the audacity to say, I can't tell the difference between when you wear makeup and when you don't. I guess that's a comp compliment in a way, but like, be for real. Oh, I forgot to do the bottom eyelash. You don't have to do this because if you guys are like not that experienced with makeup, you might poke yourself in the eye. So when, I, when I, uh, my mom first introduced me to this step, she was like, don't do it yourself. You poke yourself in the eye. But like I learned to master the art of like not doing that. So yeah, as a little volume to your bottom lash too. And just like that, you're done. And just a little final step. Kind of lip glues. Even if you don't like wearing a uh, full set of eye makeup and nose makeup, lip gloss like will do you wonders. And there you go. This is the final look, guys. Like, this is like doing like this is why I have a lot of time. Not a lot of time, cause sometimes I get it done pretty quick. Depends on how lucky I get. But like, this is like the most I do. Like, this is the most I do. The least I do is just highlight on the nose with mascara. I'm going to acting practice, but when I come back, I'm gonna take it all off and show you guys how I do it. And basically like kind of redo what I did in the beginning with all my moisturizers and stuff. But showing you guys exactly how to use these makeup wipes because you gotta make sure you get all of it off. That's the main thing I struggled with when wearing makeup in the during the beginning. Because mom would always be like, you have to wipe it off. If you don't wipe all of it off, then you can't wear makeup. Meanwhile, her sleeping with a full face of makeup. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Maybe take your advice. Anyways, so, yeah. I'll see you guys after class. Hey. I'm back from acting class. It was really fun. We played a lot of games. I'm ready to finish my night routine now. Wiping off the makeup is probably like one of the most important parts of wearing makeup because, like, you have to wipe all of it off. So, especially if you put, like, it on your bottom eyelash, you got, like, hold your eye open and get the bottom until you like can't see the, the like dark stuff get that liner off and if you're wearing like waterproof mascara or eyeliner you get to wear like get to use like oil and makeup wipes i don't think i've ever worn anything waterproof oh i should have worn waterproof i went to the pool that would have been better you do the same thing for the top you just go like under and wiggle then look at your makeup wipe, and that's how you can tell if you still need to keep going. I'm gonna go back over the side, but let me get to this one. Do the same thing. Make sure you get all of it off. As you can see, this makeup wipe is obviously smaller because, like, I don't like to waste them. Because especially when I'm not wearing like foundation or anything, it's just like a little mascara and highlighter. Then I go on like one side of it and wipe all what that needs to be wiped off. Tear that in half and put the side that's still clean back inside the container, and it's not as wasteful. Now just to make sure I did everything, I would tear up a piece for another wipe and go back over both eyes. Just so you're like 100% sure. These are the wipes I'm using. It's new 
Neutrogena. Neutro Neutrogena, yeah. My mom told me that makeup wipes aren't really that good for you because you're like tugging on your eyes. So she's gonna have to teach me how to take my makeup off without them because currently this is all I know how to do. It's all off. Gonna go back through all the steps and then we'll be done. Get the forehead and get those edges. Just get your edge control on. And I'm gonna quickly rinse my face in the sink. All right, now we're gonna gently don't wipe Tap yourself with the tower. We're gonna go back to the aloe vera. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I said this earlier, but aloe vera can like kind of hurt when you get in your eyes. So be careful with that. Avena. Face, jawline, chin, cheeks. Or you can use serum, I just don't have it. I already put aloe vera on my eyebrows either way, but I put it like on my eyelashes too. So yeah, put on the eyebrows, and brush them with the spoonos? What was it called? Spoolie. And then put a little aloe vera on the spoolie. Rub it around. And then brush up with the eyelashes, on the eyelashes. As I said earlier, don't like do too aggressively or you might get it in your eye. And that could hurt. And lastly, it's always great to go to bed with a little lip mask. This one's pretty new. I haven't used it yet. It's called Bear Oh Bear and Minerals. Make tea. Put it on your lips. And make sure every time you use a lip balm with your finger, you have clean fingers. Cause like, yo. And just like that, you're done. Like. I hope you guys enjoyed my get ready with me and get unready with me night routine. Now I just gotta take a shower, put on my PJs, brush my teeth, and probably wrap up my hair. And then I am ready for bed. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful to some of you guys who are like looking for makeup tips and like moisturizing tips on what to use for your face. I hope this helped somebody. Even if it helped one person, that's still a person that helps. I'm helping. I'm changing lives. But that's all for now. So you know what I'm about to say. Yo shit all, yo shit all, yo shit all gone. Yo shit all, yo shit all, yo shit all gone. Love ya. Mwah.